The goal of this video is to explain the Schick fragmentation. Schick fragmentation is optimized for LP1 network. When a packet is too big to be sent on LP1 network, the packet is cut into pieces called fragment when a Schick fragmentation header is added. A Schick fragmentation header is composed of a rule ID taken from the same rule ID space as the compression. A D tag may be used to differentiate different packets simultaneously fragmented by the same rule. A window number follows. And a FCN, fragment compressed number, which represents the fragment place in the window. FCNs are sent in the decreasing order from 2 power n minus 2 to 0. n is the size of the field. For instance, if n equals 3, the highest value is 6. The FCN with all bit equal to 0 is called a all zero fragment and is used to signal the last fragment of the window. Each window is also called a all zero window. The FCN with all bits equal to 1 is called a all one fragment and is used to signal the last fragment, the end of the packet. The all one fragment contains a MIC used to check the integrity of the received packet. Such window is called a all one window. None of these fields have a fixed size and they may change regarding the technology, the traffic, or the fragmentation. The simplest mode is the no hack mode. In that mode, there is no feedback from the receiver. Window field is not necessary and FCN may be set to one bit. The last fragment is a all one fragment containing a MIC. The receiver checks the MIC and if the MIC is correct, the packet is given to the upper layer. If the MIC is wrong, the packet is discarded, but the sender is not involved. The hack always mode introduces guarantee in the transmission. The window size is on one bit, window will be alternatively zero and one. All the all zero window will be full of fragments, and the FCN will decrease for each of them to zero. Hack always introduces a hack message which contains a window number and a bitmap for each FCN fragment. When the receiver receives an all zero fragment, it acts back with the bitmap. If it's OK, it goes to the next window. The behavior is the same for all one window, but based on the MIC. In case of errors, the sender resends only the missing fragment indicated by the bitmap. In hack on error mode, the size of the window field is extended to allow a unique numbering for window. In the worst cases, the window plus the FCN fields can be one by one. A whole window full of packets is never acknowledged. Only a all zero window with missing fragments or all one window are acknowledged. When no error occurs, only a short hack is sent to inform that the transmission was correct. The number of is in fact a function of the error rate. Even if the hack is lost, this mode is variable since the mandatory acknowledgement of the all one window will allow to detect losses in previous windows. In fact, with the cost of a slightly higher fragmentation header, the hack on error offers nice properties, such as variable MPU during transmission, differing hack at the end of the transmission, which may preserve sender energy. Thank you for listening. This video shows a basic fragmentation mechanism. All the implementation details can be found in the graph.